Hello friends, in the last lecture we have defined hyperbolic functions and uh, we have proved some identities uh, regarding hyperbolic functions. Now we shall find out what are the derivatives of hyperbolic functions, to find derivatives of hyperbolic functions. Now uh, I have written the results here, there are six hyperbolic functions and derivatives of six hyperbolic functions are written here. First is derivative of hyperbolic sine is equal to hyperbolic cos x and this holds for all real values of x this is defined or derivative exists for all uh, real numbers second derivative of hyperbolic cos x is equal to hyperbolic sin x this holds for all uh, real number x derivative of hyperbolic tan x is equal to hyperbolic sec square x and derivative of hyperbolic cot x is equal to negative of hyperbolic cos x square x and derivative of hyperbolic sec x is equal to negative hyperbolic sec x into hyperbolic tan x it must be hyperbolic tan x and last one derivative of hyperbolic cos x is hyperbolic cos x into hyperbolic cot x so these are the formulae uh, that we have to prove now we shall consider the first one of this the proof for this the first is derivative of hyperbolic sin is equal to hyperbolic cos x and for to find this so what we shall consider is that y is equal to y is equal to hyperbolic sin x these results are simple to prove we use the definition of hyperbolic function and the rules of differentiation and formula of differentiation y is equal to hyperbolic sin x and uh, we have defined this function hyperbolic sin x last time that is e power x minus e to the power negative x divided by 2 that is hyperbolic sin x and this is y so therefore what is the derivative of this we know the formula for differentiation rules of differentiation we have to use because this is the exponential function and we know that the derivative of exponential function is the same derivative of e to the power x is again e to the power x half is constant it remains the same so therefore dy by dx is dy by dx is this will be divided by 2 it will remain same derivative of e to the power x is again e to the power x but you see what is the derivative of e to the power negative x derivative of we have to use the chain rule derivative of e to the power negative x is e to the power negative x into derivative of negative x that is minus 1 or negative 1 and that minus and this minus becomes plus so that is positive plus e to the power negative x and what is this this is exactly hyperbolic cos x definition of hyperbolic cos x and thus uh, dy by dx is hyperbolic cos x and that means derivative of y is hyperbolic sin x and its derivative is hyperbolic cos x and thus the our first result is d by dx of hyperbolic sin x is equal to hyperbolic cos x and this is true for all x real numbers so this is the symbol for all we use symbols in mathematics uh, to write in brief and therefore this is for all x belongs to so thus the first result is true now second result you try yourself so this is the first result it is exactly a similar way you can prove you write y is equal to hyperbolic cos x write the definition of hyperbolic cos x there is plus sign and it is uh, very easy to prove if you consider this as uh, hyperbolic cos x then we have to write plus sign here and do the corresponding changes you will get the second result so second try yourself and now we will consider the third hyper derivative of hyperbolic tan x that is third one let y is equal to hyperbolic tan x and what is definition for hyperbolic tan x 
x is again here considered as a real number or all x belongs to r so therefore y is equal to we have defined hyperbolic tan that is hyperbolic uh, sine divided by hyperbolic cos and uh, what are the definitions you should uh, uh, remember we have defined hyperbolic sine x as e to the power x minus e to the power negative x divided by 2 and we have defined hyperbolic cos x is equal to e to the power x plus e to the power negative x divided by 2 so there is only change in the sign for hyperbolic sign the sign here is negative and here it is positive the functions are e to the power x e to the power negative x and these are divided by 2 so you observe and remember the two definitions and what is our hyperbolic tan x hyperbolic sin x divided by hyperbolic cos x quotient of these two and half cancels so this will be e to the power x minus e to the power negative x divided by e to the power x plus e to the power negative x this is y and um, we know how to differentiate this function we have to use which rule of differentiation it is a quotient and therefore quotient rule of derivative is to be used or the other way is other way in a simpler way can be considered as take the quotient of these two hyperbolic tan x is hyperbolic sin x divided by hyperbolic cos x so instead of writing the, this as a, the definition for hyperbolic tan x we write it in terms of hyperbolic sin and hyperbolic cos so this can be written as hyperbolic sin y divided by hyperbolic cos y why we have written like this instead of exponential function because we have the formula now for derivative of hyperbolic uh, uh, instead of y it is x hyperbolic sin x hyperbolic cos x we have the formula for derivative of hyperbolic uh, sin x and hyperbolic cos x therefore we can use and therefore we have written hyperbolic tan in terms of hyperbolic sin and hyperbolic cos now this is again a quotient we can use the quotient rule so differentiate this uh, therefore dy by dx by quotient rule of derivative by see the quotient rule of derivative this can be uh, written as dy by dx the derivative the function can be differentiated using the rule of uh, derivative of quotient and that is we know the denominator first that is hyperbolic cos x into derivative of the numerator that is d by dx of hyperbolic sin x minus numerator hyperbolic sin x into derivative of denominator that is d by dx of and what is the denominator hyperbolic cos x this is the numerator in the quotient rule divided by square of denominator hyperbolic cos square x and this is now equal to hyperbolic cos x what is the derivative of hyperbolic sin x that is cos x see both these derivatives are uh, positive in uh, circular function what is the derivative of cos x that is negative of sin x but here derivative of cos hyperbolic cos x is positive hyperbolic sin x and derivative of hyperbolic sin x is hyperbolic cos x minus hyperbolic sin x into derivative of hyperbolic cos x is again hyperbolic sin x divided by hyperbolic cos x square now this is square of this hyperbolic cos square x minus hyperbolic sin square x divided by hyperbolic cos square x and this is the fundamental identity we have proved last time that is one fundamental identity of hyperbolic functions cos hyperbolic cos square x minus hyperbolic sin square is 1 so this is 1 upon hyperbolic cos square x and what is uh, 1 upon hyperbolic cos that is 
hyperbolic sec and it is a square so therefore this is hyperbolic sec square x and thus we have dy by dx dy by dx is equal to hyperbolic sec square x but what is y y is tan so therefore this is d by dx of hyperbolic tan d by dx of hyperbolic tan x is equal to hyperbolic sec square x so this is our third part and this holds for all x belongs to r now i will uh, suggest you to prove this in the similar manner write y is equal to hyperbolic cortex and what is hyperbolic cortex hyperbolic cos upon sin so if you for fourth result you consider this as hyperbolic cot and now for cot the ratio is hyperbolic cos divided by hyperbolic sin and use again the quotient rule quotient rule write the respective derivatives here and you will get there will be negative sign negative uh, hyperbolic cos x square x so fourth result try yourself and now we shall consider fifth one or you try yourself now the fifth what is the fifth result we have to find out derivative of hyperbolic sec x so let y is equal to hyperbolic sec x and what is hyperbolic sec x 1 upon hyperbolic cos x and this is again hyperbolic or this is defined for all x real number x and now what is the derivative of this dy by dx use the quotient rule again uh, the numerator is 1 denominator is hyperbolic cos and therefore this will be by quotient rule denominator into derivative of numerator but you see derivative of numerator is d by dx of 1 minus 1 into derivative of denominator that is derivative of hyperbolic cos x divided by square of denominator question from we have used so all the rules of differentiation and formula are important you should revise and plus we are using the definition of hyperbolic functions and identities of hyperbolic functions now derivative of 1 is 0 so this is 0 minus what is the derivative of hyperbolic cos x we have obtained this formula uh, as hyperbolic sin x and divided by this is hyperbolic cos square x so this will be hyperbolic cos square x now we can write this as negative sin separate and it is in terms of sec so we may write first the ratio in terms of sec this uh, square function can be written as 1 upon hyperbolic cos x into hyperbolic sin x divided by again hyperbolic cos x You see, the value is not changed. Minus hyperbolic sin x divided by square of hyperbolic x. Why we have written like this? Because this can be written as hyperbolic sec x, and this is hyperbolic tan x. So therefore, this is minus or negative. The this the d y by d x means d by d x of y. What is y is sec hyperbolic sec x, and that is minus. hyperbolic sec x into hyperbolic tan x and this is our fifth result let's see this result we have proved for and this is true for all x belongs to r so uh, we have proved this and uh, the last result you should try yourself it is uh, similar to the fifth result pairwise results can be considered instead of sec we we can write cosec and if uh, y is uh, hyperbolic cosec x for sixth result then this will be one upon hyperbolic sin x and then use the same formula express like this and get the result again it is negative and this is uh, for non zero values why it is non zero 
बिकॉज हाइपरबोलिक वन अपॉन वी कैन राइट वन अपॉन हाइपरबोलिक साइन है x and there is not defined for x is equal to zero. Therefore, here exception is there uh, x uh, not equal to zero and all remaining non-zero values of real numbers. So you try for the sixth results. So sixth you try it. So these are the derivatives derivatives of hyperbolic functions. Six hyperbolic functions we have written and we have obtained the derivatives only using the definition. First, for first uh, two we have used the basic definition in terms of exponential function and for remaining we have expressed tan in terms of hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic cos, similarly cot, sec, cosec, etc. We have expressed in terms of this because we have obtained the derivatives of this. And thus the derivatives of hyperbolic functions can be obtained in this way. You compare the formula for hyperbolic function and circular function. What are the changes? So uh, derivative of tan x is same as sec square x uh, and this formula is similar. Uh, this is also derivative of cot x is minus cos x square x. Uh, but there is negative sign here. Derivative of sec x circular function is sec x tan x but here is negative sign. And this is similar to circular function. You compare the results for circular functions and hyperbolic functions. So this is about derivatives of hyperbolic function. So remaining part that is uh, derivative of uh, inverse hyperbolic function we shall consider in the next lecture. Thank you.